Okay, showing you a little bit more about these uh, posts and how to maintain them, how to look after them. Okay, we've just cleaned away a stack of dirt. I uh, haven't got it totally clean yet. We, you can see that the dirt's, the dirt's up to here and then falls away on an angle there. You can see it on the post there. So they had the water hose wrapped around the post. So the sprinkler right there, so it goes wet every time they uh, sprinkle the garden to get water to the garden that wets the post. Crazy idea. Why would you want to do that? Okay, steel just doesn't like getting wet all the time. But uh, you can see, okay, this is before I get the brush into it. What I've got with me is my little Makita battery grinder. Okay, they run out of battery pretty quick. It does the job at the moment. I've got a few batteries with me. And what we're going to do is to uh, take that scale off. Okay, I'll start her up and... And you can see we're getting there. I've got a bit more work to do yet. There's just one side. As we take the scale off, you can still see the, the rust down the bottom here. Okay, I've got to get in there. Get that off the concrete. Because down under the concrete, there's no real problem. It's only the first half inch or so. So we can get in there. Get that scale there, it is almost all gone. Eh? So we can get in there, clean that up. That's what I'll be done. And then, of course, once I've got all that clean, I'll take this paint off up here, get all the way up the top here, because the dome's going to come all the way up to here now, because we've got to get above that dirt so the dirt doesn't come back around the post. We don't want the, the dirt to be affecting the post at all, because the heavy metals in that dirt just eat that galvanising. And the guys who did it, they, they thought, OK, yeah, well, black tar it. So they put a little bit of black tar paint. That's just a tar paint. It just makes paints it black. It doesn't stop any water. Okay, it's not a waterproofing, it's just a tar paint. Good for thinning down the thick stuff. But it's, it doesn't do anything to protect the steel. You can see down here, it didn't protect it at all. It's gone straight through it. Alright, so what I'll, as I said, I'll be doing uh, a coat of epoxy after this. A two-pack epoxy. And then uh, to protect the epoxy, just to try and keep the uh, dirt off the epoxy, because the epoxy should last 100 years. But keep the dirt off the epoxy, I'll then uh, hit, uh, put tar over the top of that once it's dry. So a couple of days later. But yeah, that's what we're doing. It's uh, got to go right around the post, all four sides. It takes a bit of effort. It's nothing that's going to uh, happen in 30 seconds flat. So be prepared for a little bit of work. A little bit of dirt in the, under the fingernails. As uh, you go dig, dig down to try and get to the bottom of these posts, where the concrete and uh, steel meet. Clean that up, you want that totally clean. Because you need that clean so you can put the uh, concrete on when you get to it. But we're going to put a nice edge. I've got to get this uh, cat rust converter on, as we said on the other video. I'll put that on in a minute, uh, show a video of that again. Uh, as it all bubbles up, and it takes a few days for the rust converter to do its job and dry. And then we'll be t uh, painting all that and around that edge. Good two inches past. So I need that concrete clean so I can get two inches past with the uh, brush, uh, with the paint. Give a nice edge in there so it's all completely sealed with the epoxy and then the same again with the tar when i come back after the epoxy dry okay before we put the uh, concrete dome on so that's what we're doing on that post all right okay talk to you again soon bye